All right. Now that we have the issue out of the way, we do need to upgrade now. I need to get back into diamonds and I need some lapis as well. So back into the mines I go. was a mining session and a half i got 17 diamond or deep slip which is perfect i i need to get my pickaxe though i'm running out of space here uh you yeah. right so just throw this let's get the lapises let's get the lapis as well is I will need that for when we enchant. So I need a good few lapis and I need all these diamonds done. So I want my diamond gear back. Right, this is my fortune pickaxe. So 17 diamond ores got us not enough diamond for gear. Nah, we got enough there. Right, let's get this stuff. We've got lots of levels because I did go down Oh, hello. I did go down to the spider spawner and just grind a bit of XP because I knew I would need it to enchant. Right, let's... Oh, let's not do that. Let's get gear properly here. And... Perfect. Right, let's take all this off. And throw this all... Oh. Do that like that. Right, first enchantment for gear. I want blast but ooh. Ooh. Death Strider. It's got a good wow. Wow. That's perfect. The only thing that needs is feather falling for. Right, let's see. Oh, there we go. And unbreaking on that as well. That's perfect. Protection four, unbreaking three. I will do this. That's really good. I mean, not all it needs is aqua affinity and respiration, and it would be the best thing there. Protection four, thorns. Ooh, nasty. But that's basically what I wanted. That there is icing on the cake. That blast protection four will save us from creeper blasts, and then we get protection four and the other ones, which is going to be perfect. So now I just need to get books to upgrade that, or books to get better enchantment stuff. But yeah, we are now fully kitted out. I am happy with that. So now that we're all kitted out, we need to now step it up on building. Um, I need my boat, mate. Can I? 
get it off you. Please. Thank you. So you remember me talking about this area here and how it's going to be a pier harbour sort of thing? Well, I need stone. I need lots and lots and lots of stone. I need lots and lots and lots of mud. And I also need lots and lots and lots of moss. Because that's pretty much going to be like that. But I also need the spruce, which was over in that direction, which I'm going to go and get. Now, to get... To get this stuff more efficiently, I want to build the farms for it. The automatic farms. So I'm going to need coral as well for TNT dupers. So I need to go on a hunt for that. But I have absolutely no clue what any of that is. Also, for the stone stuff, I need to smelt to get back the stone because it's a cobblestone generator. So I need to figure out a super smelter that's going to be efficient as well. So that's going to cover the next few episodes because I am not going to get that done in one episode. And it's also becoming nighttime. So let me go explore, get some spruce and see if I can find a coral reef. I got the spruce wood. Now, now is the coral. The closest... <laughs> The closest coral reef is 13,000 blocks in that direction. 13,000. So, I want to get on the nether roof. So I need obsidian, gunpowder, and some redstone and stuff for that. So it's time to resource gather what I can. Hopefully this is enough to get us up to the nether roof and back out again and things. Oh wait, I don't have an ender pedal. Okay. I need an ender pedal. I need an ender pedal to do that. Yep. Oh, that's annoying. Right. I need to go find an enderman. I really didn't actually need to go and do that. That's funny though. Anyway, this is an okay wee spot. Apart from that guy there, but yeah. Let me get up to the top. 
All right, let's see. I need... I need to be able to see. <laughs> right, let's see how we can get up. Are you... No. One, two, seven is what I need. That one there. Perfect. Right, uh, what ladder's on me? Uh, let me actually write this down first. 109. 118. Let's do this. Uh, boop. So, where are the piston? There. Right, now we just need to change our controls. Uh, this one, right click. Uh, nope. Uh, F. Nope. Um, D, that'll do. Right, let's do this. No. Hey, first time. I've been getting that first time a lot. Oh, B. Which is really, really good. Okay, now where was normal portal coordinates? So I need 97111 and facing west. 97111. Right, that should connect us up to our base. It does. Perfect. And then back in, and it may take us down below, but then obviously I can break it. Oh no, it took us straight up the top. Okay, so I have to go this direction a couple of thousand blocks. Nice. Subspace bubble. Now I need to go up the way because. Oh. Didn't see that. Nah, I'm not bothered about them. I probably won't be doing much of them. Ow. Perfect. It works. Now I need some fan coral. I think it's this one. Awesome. That's pretty much, I think, all I needed. I won't know until I actually start building the farms I want to build. But that's pretty much everything done, and it's just getting the redstone together for it. And I'm done with it, yeah. I have got all four of these things set up, ready to go for the individual farms that they are going to build. We have a furnace array, we have a moss farm, we have a tree farm, and we have... We have something else. We have a cobblestone farm. So, I will let you know whose each is once they're built, because then I will remember. And then, 
it's a case of getting ready for the other builds. So let me go sleep and we'll get this started. Okay, so I have two of these things, but well, I have three of these things built. I have this, which is the Bamboo Furnace Array. This is by the awesome Potato Noir, and he has quite a few farms that I probably will be using. Um, but yeah, this thing is quite cool. It has a bamboo system here, which has a small flying machine in, using some honey blocks rather than slime so it's really good early game if you're willing to use it and it's got a mine a mine cart with chest that fills up all the furnaces and um, it's got an automatic replenishing system with the uh, wood planks which this is a backup of so we will never run out but it is slowly filling up and every single one of these gets the exact same amount of bamboo bamboo planks and it's awesome our next one is a cobblestone generator uh, okay this 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 broke this was originally a name bomb design but for some reason the tnt thing wasn't working i don't know if it's got a new update or anything like that but i had to repurpose another ts I had to repurpose another TNT duping thing for this one to work and then I had to add a button to this piston because when the chunks unloaded ir irregularly when the chunks unloaded irregularly I cannot say that word I <laughs> when the chunks unloaded irregularly <coughs> I'm not this is my ADHD putting this. I can't get it irregularly. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. I can push it back. So that's quite handy. It is fast. I will say that it ran for maybe an hour. While I was building another one. Which... I completely 
forgotten to turn on recording. And that is this one. Uh, I need to go up the side. Which is the moss farm. Well, it's a bone meal farm at the moment, but it moss. So these three machines are amazing. And I will need all three of these to work on our build, which we're doing all the way over there. And yeah, so I need the moss for some moss and mossy bricks and all that sort of stuff. I need the furnace array to smelt the cobblestone quickly. And I need the cobblestone generator because I need lots and lots of cobblestone. But these are all filled and we'll get nearly another double chest. And that's just not, that's not long. So I need to turn these machines on and get our last machine built. So to turn on the cobblestone generator, we flick this lever and then push the button and run because it really lets that go quickly. And then all the cobblestone just comes flying down here when it wants to. There we go. Okay, that took its time. Uh, to turn on this, we need to come round the back here actually and flick that switch and that turns all that on the bamboo flying machine we need to if i didn't build a walkway i would need to do a lot of bar parkour just to get this sorted so we need to come all the way around the back here and flick this switch off which turns this redstone line off and allows for it to update by itself so they are now running. I now need to go and get our last farm finished, which is a tree farm. I am going to need lots of wood. Not for anything like chest or anything like that. I would just use this. But I need lots of wood for up here. So let's get going. And it's working. The only other thing I do need to try and figure out is the bone mealing system. If it will work. I've set it up so that it should. Literally built this like pretty much frame by frame. And if I come over here, yeah, there should be a lot of bone meal in here already. Is there enough for this to run? There is. You know what? I could probably do that. So that's been running while I've been building this, so it should fill up pretty well, no matter what. We have got lots of more cobblestone, which is awesome. And then I just come round the back here, and I just pop all this bone meal in here. This will run stupid amounts, because 
is bone meal and trees. Now, I don't actually have a tree on me. And I need spruce. So, I need to find a spruce sapling. I there we are. I really only should need one. Oh, it's getting wet. Yeah, I should only need one for this to work. And I will replenish my saplings as I go. So, let's test it. So, I'm going to try and run for as long as the, the bone meal will go. See how long that takes. And if it's going to be cost efficient. And clear that. And then I can go in here and do that. And nope. Because I need to turn the machine on. Strange place for the machine to be. But this is firing now. It's filling up with bone meal. Let's go. I honestly not got a single sapling from that one. Ow. Uh, okay. I need to go and find more saplings. Hmm. Okay. I'm not getting very many saplings. And I know for a fact I'm not getting any wood just yet. That's... That's a problem. Hmm. Because it should be returning... It should be returning saplings. Even if it is just one or two. So... Might need to stock up on saplings a lot. Because when I did test it before I started building it, because there's always a, a point where you should make sure things work before you start building them. And I, and I will say, I did build that cobblestone machine first before I started building it in this world, and it worked. So I don't know what's wrong with that. But I think it's just bud powering and the way redstone kind of works with some things now that it didn't work with the original tnt duper uh which was slime block which was slime blocks and coral i don't know or it could be that i used the wrong coral could be anything right so ooh, only six <clears throat> Let's try again, because it might be a case that I just AFK this and let bone meal stack up so that I can fill it up or set up a system to automatically fill this from the bone meal farm. That might be a, th that might be a better idea actually, just line it up. I think the only issue would be that I'd run out of bone meal. Right, come on, are you, are you actually serious? Yay, we got one. How are we doing a bone meal? I mean, bone meal is fine. I'm getting the sticks, but I'm getting no... Is there any just... Bell about or something? Is that the issue? I mean, not that I can see. Okay. May as well just turn that off until I can get a lot more saplings. But looks like we get 10 logs so far, which is good. And since we put that stuff in there, how much more bone meal have we made? Ah, that's not too bad actually. It's very quick, very fast and replenishing. It's stock, which is good. And if I set it up so that it goes straight into these chests, and these chests will automatically fill up, we're laughing. But my issue is saplings. Yeah. Right, I'm going to wait for that to regrow, and I'm going to do it a few times to get a healthy amount of saplings. Because if, if this doesn't work to the best it can be, 
because obviously saplings are an issue. I might just get rid of it and find something new. Uh, I need that much spruce that that would be more beneficial me getting rid of this if it doesn't work. So yeah. Anyway, let me AFK and we can figure out what's going on. Okay, so Smart Hard here decided to actually build a chunk loader. Now, my only issue is it's annoying to build these things, trying to get them properly connected. That was the main issue. But it's working now. If you want to know this chunk loader, it's actually by Exumavoid and it's a self repairing one. This resets all, which is really cool. And it's got a backup system here, which you can fill up with anything you need. Uh, I have a spare cobblestone. There we go. Awesome. Right, so now that that's in place, I can run all these farms without a worry because they run the red that the chunk loader the way it works is the surrounding three chunks which are this one this one which is not oh that might break it <laughs> who knows and this chunk and this chunk and this chunk Pretty much most of the redstone is in the chunk. I don't know if this will break. It probably will. But I have it set so that it will reset itself. Hopefully. And not break it. If it breaks it, it's not too much of an issue. I can quickly fix. But I can get this running and going while I do stuff over here. Get some saplings, get some more food, and not have to majorly worry about it. Oh yeah, I need to turn the other farms on. Whoops. Uh huh. 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 Ha! 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 